This is a Baby Jogger City premiere, and today we wanted to give you a few tips on how to solve brake problems that might occur with this model. The brake system is pretty standard across the Baby Jogger range, and the way it, it functions is that you have a static brake up here at the handle that then runs down with a wire down to the lower brake bar, uh, hits the center of the brake bar at the bottom, and then presses in a series of pins and springs such that a pin pops out the ends of the lower frame into the brake discs on the wheels. If you're having uh, any problems then with the brakes, most common being that the pin does not retract entirely within, thus causing a rattling sound to occur as a pin comes into contact and actually does damage to the brake disc on the wheel, or that uh, one wheel won't brake or one wheel won't unbrake. Uh, the first thing you want to do in order to uh, troubleshoot these sort of problems is to have a look at your brake adjustment screw at the top here. So the purpose of the brake adjustment screw is to adjust the length of the internal wire to the outside housing or wire part of the wire of the brake wire in general. And uh, with the screw screwed in shorter, the pins at the bottom will stick out further. Uh, with the uh, pin adjusted longer out, the pins will then not extend as far out from the frame, okay? That's like the basic concept you need to know. So at the moment, it's kind of in a middle position, but if I wanted the, uh, the pins to stick out a bit further, if they're not sticking out far enough to break the wheels, then I would loosen this up, loosen up the washer on the bottom first, and then screw it in tighter so that it extends further out. By contrast, if you have problems with brake release, meaning that the pins do not extend all the way into the frame when you're trying to take the brake off, then you would like, then you would want to rotate the adjustment screw the opposite direction and pull it out further uh, in order to change the tension within that internal wire. Okay, looking at the bottom end, I'll remove a wheel and I'll show you what I was talking about. So now the brake is off and now the brake is on and these pins have pushed this end of the pin outwards and it then will poke into one of these holes on the brake disc of the wheel. So if adjusting the adjusting screw is not solving your problem, it could happen that uh, you have some grit or some sand or even rust that has built its way up inside the channels here. This pin extends through, in which case the first thing you're going to want to try is to lubricate into these channels. And my recommendation is using something like WD-40. I have a generic WD-40 here called multi-spray. You're just going to want to turn your stroller on the side and then spray in with your spray lubricant. You can spray in here at the center as well and then leave it on its side so that the spray lubricant can work its way in for a good minute or so. Flip it over, do it from the other side and extend and retract the brakes a few times to better move that lubricant around inside the channels. Now it can happen of course that either of these techniques will not fix your brake problems in which case you might need to disassemble the entire assembly and find out where the problem is occurring perhaps even replace the brake wire and we have other videos related to other baby jogger models that show how to do this and the process is uh, almost entirely identical again across the baby jogger range provided you're not dealing with any sort of small travel strollers that is. In any case, that is how you can troubleshoot and easily fix brake issues with the Baby Jogger City Premiere. We hope this video was useful to you, and if it was, we ask that you subscribe as it helps us to continue making videos in the future. Thank you.